The National Gamekeepers Organisation are delivering the DMQ Wild Boar DSC1 add-on course. We're doing it slightly differently as we're doing it as a distance learning package to allow you to get the material, everything you need to be able to pass the exams, the shooting test, in your own time and your own learning style with support from tutors that are selected by the NGO via webinars and phone calls and emails. Wild Boar are becoming more prevalent in certain areas of the UK, therefore they'll need to be managed in a more sympathetic and understanding manner. Hence the fact DMQ have launched a training programme to, to get hunters to be able to understand or the way they work, their ecology, recognition and behaviour, which ultimately will help us manage that species across a landscape. Welcome to the first Wild Boar Assessment Centre run by the National Gamekeepers Organisation. What I'll do is I'll go through what we're going to do today. The assessment is basically in three main parts. The first part we'll do is a recognition. We will show you 10 slides on the, on the board from a, a PowerPoint presentation. Um, you'll have an assessment sheet in front of you and you'll be asked, asked to nominate whether the wild boar you're looking at or the main wild boar in the picture, because some, some might have more than one in them, um, the, the wild boar in the picture is either male or female, an adult or juvenile. To score the point, you've got to get both factors right. So you've got to be able to say that it's uh, an, ad, an, an adult male or an adult female to score the point. Um, there are only 10 slides um, and to pass the assessment you've got to get six right. So I don't think that's too difficult for experienced guys like, like you. The second part of the assessment is a written question paper. It's 50 questions, 50 multiple choice questions. There will only be one right answer for each question. And what we would ask you to do is to put a circle around the letter of the correct answer. And we'll then go out on the range where we will do the uh, shooting assessment. The first thing you have to do is to fire three rounds from 100 metres into the standard grouping and zeroing target, putting all three rounds in the outer four inch circle. Now you can do that either from a prone position, lying down on your belly, or from a, a high seat or a simulated high seat, depending what's available. And you can use, um, as an aid, any equipment which you would normally carry stalking. Um, so if you have got a bipod to fit to the rifle, fit it. If you've got a, a, a light uh, rucksack or a coat that you can fold up and you want to rest the rifle on that, that's absolutely fine. Having fired the three rounds into that target, if on the first occasion you fail to get all three in the circle, you get a further two attempts on the same day. Um, if you don't then succeed, I'm afraid it would be a referral and you wouldn't go on to the, on to the board target. The second part of the shooting, this is, this is the actual target. And you'll see, you can probably see from there, that there are two kill zones marked. The kill zone on the heart and shoulders is the kill zone that we will use for this part of the assessment, the first, the first series of, of shots. And again, what we will do is we'll fire two rounds into that kill zone from 100 metres. And again, either from a prone position or from a high seat or simulated high seat. And again, using any equipment which you would normally use whilst stalking. Um, we'll then make sure that everything is clear, the rifles are all clear, and we'll advance to 70 metres. And from 70 metres, you put two rounds into that same kill zone from a sitting or a kneeling position. Using sticks, if you so wish, or if you've got long bipods, use, use those. Again, any equipment which you would normally carry stalking. We then, having cleared rifles down and made sure everything's safe, and we'll, we'll talk about range safety in a moment, um, advance to 40 metres. And from 40 metres, you put two rounds again into that zone but this time from a standing position and you can choose to use sticks if you like. You're required to do a humane dispatch series of shots which are two shots into the head area fired from 10 to 15 meters from a standing position using, using sticks if you, if you wish. We cater for those people who have a little bit of perhaps range nerves or whatever on the day. Um, you get two further attempts at this on the day if, if you're uh, not successful on the first occasion. Okay, 